As an alpha male, Ben knows exactly what it's like to go out for a day's hunting, come back and want some really big food. So he's going to show us his Polish hunter's stew. So from what I've read, this is the national dish of Poland, Bigos. And basically, as you say, hunter stew is loads of ingredients you might find in the woods, in a pot, stewed down for lots of time. You said Bigos very confidently, like that is how, exactly how it's pronounced. Bigos. Yeah? Big, or as in rock, right. and as in sign, Bigos. Okay. I'm just waiting for the comments to flood in. All you need to do is take a couple of onions, peel them, slice them, and fry them off in a couple of tablespoons of butter when they're soft and sweet. We're gonna add in juniper berry and caraway seeds. As those onions sweat off, we can cut up some other stuff. So I've got some pork shoulder steaks. Is that because you, you found a pig worst when you're out hunting? You can imagine it might be a boar. Yep. Sometimes they'd put rabbit in here, or pheasant, or in fact, any kind of good quality meat. But quite a fatty one, this is a long slow cook, so something like shoulder is perfect. I'm gonna dice it up. You can slice half a white cabbage. Do you know what? I can. Now obviously if you've been out hunting all day, you don't want to be cooking something that's got a lot of different pans. Which is why this dish is so fantastic, because it's just a one pot dish and everything goes straight into that one pot. Dump away. Dump. We've got our cabbage, we've got our sauerkraut, chicken stock, our pork, some tomatoes, some honey for that little added sweetness, and then the bark of some trees. No, they're dried mushrooms, also found on the forest floor while I was hunting. Bring it up to a simmer and cook very, very gently for two hours, alternatively in a slow cooker for four. Or a really slow cooker for six. After a good couple of hours of simmering away, look at this. The cabbage, the oh, pork. It smells amazing. It breaks down, it does smell incredible. Two more ingredients to go into this, then back into the oven for another half an hour. One red apple, grated, and plenty of Polish sausage. And if you slice this into sort of diagonal pieces and mix it in, it really is delicious. It's kind of a smoked, smoked sausage. That's one of my favorites. There are loads of different Polish sausages. Pick your favorite. You'll notice at this point, we've not actually seasoned this mix, no. but there'll be a lot of salt come out of that sausage. And then later on, after another half an hour, simmering away or back in a very low oven, about 150 degrees Celsius, then you can taste it with seasoning just before serving. Bootylicious. Serve it up in a big bowl with a sprinkle of chopped dill and plenty of mashed potato. Now is this the time where you try and make it look good when you serve it up? Well, I mean, it's a lot of stewed cabbage <laughs> and pork. It's, I mean, it's not the most attractive, but what these guys don't have at home is smell vision because when you smell it, then you know it's there good. There is that. But that's also, when I was looking into what big offs actually means, it translates uh, to mess or confusion, which can kind of sum up how it, how it looks, I suppose. Fair. Look at that. Awesome creamy mash. You got all of the cabbage and veg in the actual dish. So for the little bit of sour cream, it's our Polish hunter stew or big offs. Sorted. I know it feels like we finished the recipe a minute ago when we, we summed it up and we said sorted, but it does really benefit from some mushrooms just sauteed off. They were, they were just there and we forgot to put them on. Yeah, because when I went hunter gathering, you see, I, um, from the forest, I found these on the floor, so I thought um, they'd look great on top. Yeah. There we go, big os, mark two, sorted. Oh, nice mushrooms, look at mm. that. Do you know what? Dirt cheap. Well, it is if you've hunted mm, it. That is good. Mm. How do I make it? Mm. Well, it's kind of an inception thing going on because you're in the video that shows how to make it, yeah. oh, but yeah. at the end. But if you've missed the video for some reason but ended up here, then why not head to Sorted Food where you can find all the recipe and ingredients?